Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Noshin Nawar and today we are going to explore something really interesting that is conduction of nerve impulse. In the previous video, we have already discussed the structure of the neuron and today we will know how information passes from one neuron to another. So let's begin. When a neuron is stimulated by any stimulus like mosquito bite, an electrical impulse is generated within the neuron. Actually, an interesting thing occurs at this time, which is generation of action potential. Now, you might be wondering, what is action potential? Well, to simply say, it is an electric potential generated inside a cell due to movement of certain ions through the membrane of that cell. For neuron, these ions are sodium ion and potassium ion. Outside the neuron or in the extracellular fluid, there is sodium ion in higher concentration. Conversely, potassium ion is more concentrated inside the neuron. Usually, the cell membrane of the neuron is not going to allow free movement of ions through it. But in response to any stimulus, the permeability of the membrane will increase, allowing sodium ions to enter the neuron and potassium ions to exit the neuron. So, guess what happened? Action potential is developed within the neuron. For impulse transmission, our main goal is to transmit this action potential through the synapse to the postsynaptic neuron. A question that might arise, what is synapse? Well, a synapse is the junction between two neurons where one neuron ends and another begins. It has three components, the presynaptic neuron that sends impulse, postsynaptic neuron that is going to receive impulse and the synaptic cleft that is the gap between two neurons. Now let's zoom into a part of the synapse. See this is an axon terminal of the presynaptic neuron. This is the synaptic cleft and this is the dendron of postsynaptic neuron. As you can see synaptic cleft is nothing but a gap. So action potential cannot directly pass through this gap. Rather it will take help of a chemical substance that is acetylcholine. Acetylcholine will be formed in the presynaptic neuron and stored in small vesicles. Now what we need to do is release this acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. But these vesicles cannot move towards the cleft by themselves. They need help of calcium ion. When impulse or action potential reaches the axon terminals of presynaptic neuron, some transmembrane proteins present in the axolemma, which act as channel or gateway for calcium ions, open up. And as a result, from the extracellular fluid, calcium ions will enter into the axon terminal. Then these calcium ions will cause fusion of synaptic vesicles to the membrane of axon terminal and release of acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft will occur. So acetylcholine will move through the synaptic cleft to the membrane of the postsynaptic neuron. In the membrane of the postsynaptic neuron, some proteins are present to which acetylcholine can bind. These are called acetylcholine receptors. So acetylcholine then binds to the receptors in the postsynaptic neuron and in response to that, permeability of the membrane of postsynaptic neuron increases. Then sodium ions which is present in higher concentration outside the neuron will enter the neuron and potassium ions that is present in higher concentration inside the neuron will exit the neuron. An action potential will develop in the postsynaptic neuron. So our motive to transmit impulse or action potential from one neuron to another is done. So let's quickly brief all the key points of this whole process. Firstly, development of action potential in response to presynaptic neuron stimulus. Then entry of calcium ion in the presynaptic neuron, fusion of synaptic vesicles containing acetylcholine to the membrane, release of acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft, then binding of acetylcholine to the receptors in the postsynaptic neuron and action potential generation in the postsynaptic neuron. With that, I am concluding our today's topic of discussion, nerve impulse conduction. I hope you all found it interesting. Thank you for watching.